Okay. So when we mentioned Camus. Oh yeah, I love him. Is there um this is this is this is a question that people like love when I ask what of really smart love. people <laughs> what is love? <laughs> no. Uh what uh what books, let's say three books, if you can uh, think of them, technical, fiction, philosophical, would you uh had a big impact on you or would you recommend to others? Sure. Uh The Machiavellians by James Burnham. Uh, this is a book about how politics works in reality as opposed to how people imagine it working. Um, Mencius Moldbug, who's a figure in these circles, who's respected by a lot of people. I was giving a talk and there was a bunch of panelists and we were asked, what book would you recommend? I said, The Machiavellians. Independently of me, that was the book he had recommended. It's out of print. It's hard to find, but that would be one. Is uh, that his book or no? James Sorry. Burnham. It came out in 1941, I think. So uh, can, you, can you pause on the Mulch's, what's Mencius his? Moldbug. That's a code name, right? I, that guy, name, that yeah. guy's pen Curtis name. Yarvin is his real name. He's in, he swims in your circles. Which circles? He does some kind of program. Oh, he's yeah, originally programmed. Yeah, yeah. There's, he comes up as a person that I should talk with or I should know about, but then I read a few of his things They're and they very... seem quite dangerous. <laughs> They're very long and verbose, but I think he's an amazing thinker. Yeah, but, but he's the one who had the idea of sending the tanks to Harvard Yard. But doesn't he have like, uh, he has some radical views. I forget what they are. Very probably. radical views. Yeah, he wants a military coup. But you're saying he's a serious thinker that is worthy uh, of, not worthy. I, I don't said, know that you would enjoy having a conversation with him. I think a lot of people enjoy seeing it happen, but I think it'd be a lot of talking past each other and, and it would be interesting. What do you agree? I did agree with what him, do you watch. disagree? Okay, um, What do you agree? What do you disagree with I him? agree with him that politics has to be looked at objectively and without kind of an emotional um, connection to different schools. I talk about him a lot in my book on the new right. Um, disagree. I don't think a military coup is a good idea. Uh, he's he doesn't think anarchism is stable. I disagree. Um, I, I mean, me and him. I did a live stream with him. We just dorked out a lot about history and like you know people who've fallen in the memory hole. So I, I mean, he's got a lot of writing. So so uh, you know the sense I got from him was that if I talk with him a lot of people would be upset with me for giving him a platform. Yeah, I think he's on that edge where they want to read him out of what is uh, acceptable discourse. What's his most controversial? I mean, you keep mentioning the, the tanks. Is that the most controversial viewpoint? Does he um, have a race thing? No, he's the the yeah. the alt-right doesn't particularly like him in many ways because he's not a big on uh, the race thing. I don't know what would be his most controversial view, uh, uh, to be honest. I think because he is radical in terms of his analysis of culture, anytime someone's a radical, that is dangerous. Yeah, it's they, dangerous. Yeah. Okay, book, uh, so that's one. The, the Fountainhead, Fountain Fountain Head, which is a... a um, I would say not Atlas Shrug. No, if and if you read Atlas Shrug before reading The Fountainhead, you're doing yourself an enormous disservice. Don't you dare do it the on the philosophical because every the level, novel on every better. every level. Fountainhead's a better novel. Fountainhead's superfluous if you read Atlas Shrugged first. Fountainhead's about psychology and ethics. Uh, it does not have to do with her politics, other than its implications. So it's by far the superior book. Um, the third one. Ooh, this is a good one question. Let me see. What I there's so many good books out there that I love. I I'm going to this is not really my third choice, but I'll throw it out there because I um this is such an important worldview, especially for people on the right. Are you virtue is, signaling? No, this is counter signaling. Mm -hmm. Um Thaddeus Russell's book, A Renegade History of the United States. His thesis is that it's the degenerates that give us all freedom. Um, and things like prostitutes, things like madams, things like slaves, things like immigrants, because they were so low status, they could get away with things that then people who are higher status demanded and so on and so forth. So I think that thesis, and, and it really has extreme um, consequences in uh, thinking. And no, oh, Jonathan Haidt, The Righteous Mind, That's th those are the four. Is that his best? I haven't read any yes. of his stuff. The Righteous Mind is the only one you up. want. Okay. That was four, but of course. Forget uh, Thaddeus Russell, we'll put, we'll put of height in there. Of course he would. Uh, no, forget Thaddeus, so those are the three. 